Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we have another monster of a bundle for Unity developers. Unity developers are kind of spoiled this month. You've got not only the tools bundle on Humble, but you also have this one, the art bundle. Now this is a collection of art assets like the one you see in front of you. This is the Lost Temple to give you an idea of some of the stuff that is in this pack. It is all the stuff you need to create an environment like this. Now this pack is a little bit cheaper than the tools pack. The full package uh, is $25. If you do not know how this Humble stuff works, basically it's a collection of stuff. In this case, uh, art assets, sound assets, and art creation tools uh, around a given theme, in this case, Unity. Uh, you buy a higher dollar value tier, you get all the tiers below it, you decide how your money is allocated between Humble, Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose, and thank you so very much if you do, to help support Game From Scratch. So this here is one of the assets in this bundle. This oops, I went too far, is another Humble Bundle asset. This is the uh, Sinti Dungeon Pack. Again, it's an environmental pack for creating, well, dungeons. You've probably seen Sinti's artwork before. I really like it. Um, it's all low poly with a really uh, cool style going on. And these are two of the assets that you are getting in the pack. Now, we've got a lot to cover. So we're just going to jump right into uh, the full thing and find out what exactly you get in this bundle uh, tier by tier. So we're going to start off at the one dollar tier at the one dollar tier you get the seamless texture generator this one's actually kind of cool it's not a very expensive tool in the first place but what it allows you to do is basically take uh, an image and make it seamless and tileable there's a lot of tools out there for doing this but if you're using unity it's a very functional and useful thing to have uh, next up we have the brute force snow and ice shader this is for creating well snow and ice you can also have uh, actual deformations of the ice so you can simulate you know creating a snowball in it or uh You've got different shaders, and you can have uh, cracked ice look, shiny ice, and so on. Uh, next up, we have the RPG VFX bundle. Uh, it's a selection of uh, visual effects for um, you know RPG style games, spell effects. Uh, that kind of stuff. And that is your $1 tier. Now, next up, we go to the, the average price tier. Uh, and here you're getting a map graph, a map generator creation tool. So drag and drop connect over 35 nodes to create your own unique map generator. This is for creating uh, 2D style maps. Uh, if you're interested specifically in me checking one of these out or something from the tools bundle, do let me know in the comments down below. I will do my best before these end. Um, there's a lot there. But this is, again, a procedural 2D map map generator kind of a neat little tool there and then we have pixelate now interestingly enough we've got a couple of tools for doing this kind of stuff and it's for basically taking 3d models and turning them into pixel art uh yeah that's kind of the idea behind it convert 3d animations into pixel art sprite sheets uh, then we've got the next one is a modeling pack this is little dragon's tiger uh, so it is basically what you see in front of you. Uh, we've got some eggs. We've got some animated 3D miniature dragon things going on. Uh, next up, we have the birds pack. This is from Protofactor. Their stuff is always quite good. Uh, they are fully rigged and animated. So if you need to add birds to your game, uh, you had a ton of them in the birds pack. Next up, we have basic motions. Now, I do have to warn you, this one was in a previous bundle and released August 2021. 20, uh, uh, this is a set of, well, basic animation motion. So if you need a live library of standard normal animations could be a good start for you next up we have the footsteps sound pack this is 12 1230 high quality footstep sound so if you need people sound of uh, people walking on carpet concrete grass gravel leaves metal etc they've got you covered they've even got customized footsteps for robots monsters cowboys and so on so uh, interesting pack for sure now we move on to tier three so this is 25 dollars. you get all of the stuff we've already seen plus the following and there is a ton more to cover so let's jump in we've got magic of cloth this is for cloth simulations using both the uh unity job systems and birth compiler uh birth compiler burst compiler uh it comes with both bone cloth driven transforms and mesh cloth um driven by mesh are available so if you've got like cloaks or whatever to animate in your scene that is what this tool is all about next up we have character creator 2d uh, this uses a um, traditional video game style character creator for creating uh sprite sheets pretty straightforward there uh, next up we have the monster sound pack this is for things like um tyrannosaurus rex dragons zombies so on 838 high quality game ready effects so combat sounds like stabs and hits ghosts and zombies hissing creatures insects small and large humanoids etc. Uh, moving on from there, we have the underwater effects. This is an effects pack for a wide variety of objects. Bring your underwater environments to life. Things like coral rocks, corals, bubble particles, jellyfish, um, 
grass, underwater, background, uh, floating particles, and so on. Uh, next up, we have the Quirky Series Animals Mega Pack Volume 1. This is a collection of, well, cartoony style creatures. Uh, again, it's going to be very limited for some of you because if this doesn't fit your game's art style, it is absolutely useless to you. But if you need to have some cartoony style low poly characters, uh, animals specifically, well, this pack has you covered. And if the animal you do not have or do uh, the animal you want isn't necessarily in this pack, well, you also get volume two. So here is where the lobsters are and Nemo. Uh, so if you're interested, we got those two packs there as well. Next up, we have the Eternal Temple. We saw this guy in action earlier on uh, to start the video it's a very nice looking pack it's basically a modular kit for creating uh temple environments so you can see all the various different pieces that went together to create that environment so obviously you can use them to create other um things in a similar art style next up we have a monster rumble uh, party monster rumble pbr you can see the art style of the characters there again if it doesn't fit your art style it's going to be of somewhat limited use but um, nice looking pack otherwise uh more towards the realism side of things we have forest animals uh full pack there are uh, a lot of them uh they're I, I do believe uh fully rigged so you got boars deers moose or meese <laughs> uh bear wolf fox and hare by the way the plural of moose is not meese uh next up we have another pixel tool this one is pro pixelizer um same kind of concept so Render 3D objects to look like 2D sprites, but the cool thing about this one, the other one is for creating sprite sheets, pixelated sprite sheets from your 3D objects. This one does it in real time. So you can basically model in 3D and then render them in like a 2D pixel art style. After that, we have the Toon Fantasy Nature Pack uh, for creating kind of semi-realistic art style. Sort of, I think the closest kind of analog I think of is like Firewatch. A modular kit as well for creating such an environment there. Uh, after that, we have the uh, Monsters Ultimate Pack 2 Cute Series. Again, another series of cute monster designs. So if you're going for that cute look, you might be able to mix these things all together. Again, if you're not going for that art style, a little bit less use, but you've got 300 game models in this pack. So yeah, there's a lot there. You can see the, the kind of different things going on in this particular pack. They're all low polygon. After that, we have a boing kit, which is fun to say, boing kit. A uh, bouncy VFX tool. Um, so I believe this turns yeah turns bones into dynamic bouncy bones, animated or not. So if you've got that boing, boing, boing kind of effect going on, uh, this will work for you. So integrates well with existing boing effectors, all new lightweight colliders with boing kit and Unity's built-in colliders. Um, so... Uh, it's basically for bouncy bones. After that, we have the Meadow Environment Dynamic Nature. Uh, you can see what this one is all about right there for creating a realistic environment. Uh, things are animated, by the way. You can create some uh, really nice looking sets out of this. Oh, they don't have an overview picture, unfortunately, in there from the looks of things. But if you need to have a meadow forested type environment, uh, that is what this one is all about. And then we have the ultimate uh, sound effects bundle. This one is a collection of 9,849 sound effects, 44 packs, seven gigabytes plus of content so you can see all the various different packs that are here so if you need sound effects for your game well there's a heck of a lot of them in this pack uh, on the top of that if you need some music well we've got the total music pack here this has a total of 800 different music tracks loops short versions and more a variety of different genres and so on um, so a ton of different packs in here, uh, 800 plus music tracks. So you got your sound effects covered. You've got your music covered again. It comes down to if you like it or not the quality of it. And then we have the polygon dungeons, low polygon 3d art from, um, Cinti studios. Again, I always like their work. Everything they do looks very good. Uh, there's a consistent art style to it. If you've already got some Cinti stuff, it will mix and match well with other Cinti stuff. And Cinti has, uh, genre packs for just about everything you can ever imagine uh so uh you get the low poly so the dungeon set here uh pretty nice little collection of dungeon related tiles for creating those styles of maps and then finally and it probably one of the most interesting to me to be honest is the quibbly anime shaders and tools uh this is for adding that anime rendering style to your game and I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, so all you need to achieve the look of Japanese animation films, or, uh, it includes shaders, post-processing, and mesh generation tools that cover a wide variety of non-photorealistic styles. 
Uh, this is one that I am definitely going to check out myself, but if you're interested in me actually doing a video of it, do let me know. And if there's anything here you particularly would like to see me cover, again, let me know. I will do my best to cover something from this. And again, we also have the tools bundle going on right now as well. I will have links to both of them down below. And again, if you lose my link, uh, you can help support Game From Scratch, and I really do appreciate that. So we got a ton in this bundle. Uh, so again, uh, I'll just kind of flip through them as I'm concluding here. Uh, the entire bundle, this one is, I actually like the tools bundle a little bit better because I am a big tools fan. And I find that there's a handful of things in here that are just too genre specific to be that useful to the mass of people. A little bit too much of the cutesy stuff. Uh, but there's huge amount of sound effect packs in here, huge amount of art packs in here, some environmental packs. Um, you got your anim animals covered. You got some 3D to 2D pixel art stuff going on here. So there's definitely nothing to sneeze at with this pack for sure. So you got, again, a huge volume of uh, sound effects and music tracks covered in here. A couple of different environments. And again, I like this Quibbly anime shader here. But there's a decent selection of tools in here as well. And speaking of tools, the tools bundle is also still running. And I'm going to have a couple more follow-up videos for that as well. So let me know what you think of this bundle. It is cheaper. It is 25 bucks as opposed to 30. Uh, I, I think both are a bargain. Basically, again, you can see $25 bundle. If you wanted this item alone, 60 bucks. So you're getting uh, all the rest of the stuff for free and you're getting at this at better than half price. So both of these bundles are an absolute no brainer, but I'm curious which one you like better. So that is it. The uh, Unity Art Bundle, a uh, huge bundle. Uh, I, I like it, but I'm curious what you think. Let me know. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.